So, you want to crack the safe and into the fire? First things first, there's going to be a clue right up on top of the furnace, and then there's going to be the safe to the left, and there's also going to be a little safe containing two clues. Make sure as you're running past the second furnace, you grab the clue that's dangling by the rope. Don't go running into the lava like me, I don't know what the hell I was just doing. But anyways, there's going to be a clue that the gopher's garden, and there's going to be one on top of the furnace. Then there's going to be one up to the left after this little cutscene. There's going to be a whole lot more. And you're going to see that there's a bad guy over there. And then you're going to see that there's a hole on the edges of the wall. Go ahead and break all that. That's going to give you a boatload of points. And there's some clues that are doing this. So make sure to grab those. You can see that there's one up to the right. Which you can actually get from right here. You don't have to go swinging around. Just go ahead and do what I just did. But don't fail miserably a couple times. But after that, go ahead and ride your hooks to get across to the other side. Right at the checkpoint to the right, there's going to be a clue. Make sure to grab that. Go ahead and take out this gopher and go ahead and find the pipe. Once you're at the top, there's going to be a buoy, well, a couple buoys that you have to go ahead and swing across. Then there's going to be some platforming where you got to go and jump from platform to platform on these circular shaped beams. I really don't know what they are. Part of some type of machine. Make sure to grab those three clues though. Go ahead into the next area. You're going to have to smack a few furnaces and if you're lucky there'll be a horseshoe sitting there. So make sure to grab your horseshoe as well. It might come in handy. Go ahead and jump up on the pipes to the right, and then jump up further onto the pipes to the right. There's going to be two clues sitting on top, and then on the left-hand pipes, there's going to be another two clues. And this is a great example of as to why the horseshoe might come in handy. Yeah, don't jump into the lava. At this point, you've reached another checkpoint, and there's going to be some more coal with some clues hidden behind them tucked in the wall. Make sure to grab both sets. There's two different areas for it. There's going to be a little safe in front of the little wall that's going to get smashed down. Take that out and then ride on the roller coaster thingy. And the meteorite's going to break through the wall and if you keep spinning it's going to just bring you some more clues which is pretty cool. Go ahead down there and dodge all the traps and there's eventually going to be some more clues hanging from the ceiling. Grab those. There's a nice little trick that you can do. You just want to go ahead, grab the key, exit the mission and then go right back in and it's going to pop you out right at the safe. This safe is going to end up unlocking the slow motion jump, which is a pretty cool feature in Sly Games. I'm Blade Teed Studios, thanks for watching my guide, and I'm out.